injectable drugs, those are osteoporosis drugs, those are antigen drugs, those are expensive drugs. I had a client a few years ago who had rheumatoid arthritis and she was taking Orencia and a 30 minute injection once a month was $4,800 a month. $4,800 a month. Under Part B, that's 20%. So that was $960 a month was her coverage without a, any other type of coverage if she didn't have a supplement. So how else can someone cover that gap and also get some prescription drug coverage? Well, the government came up with a Medicare Part C. Medicare Part C are called Medicare Advantage plans. And what those are, you know, I talked earlier about Medicare and how there is no cap if you have original Medicare. You could be spending 44,000, over $44,000 in hospital costs if you're in there over 150 days. And there's no cap on Part B for outpatient surgeries, x-rays, all that. Well, well, the government also has no cap. Medicare has no cap. If you're in the hospital for a week and you are on original Medicare, and the deductible is only $1,152, Medicare picks up the rest. If you're in there for 21 days, your deductible is still only $1,152. Who picks up the rest? Medicare picks up the rest. So they decided to tr come up with a plans called Medicare Advantage Plans. They want to transfer their risk and cap their exposure. So how did they do this? They went to an insurance company and said, Mr. Insurance Company, we will give you a per member fee based on the age and conditions of that member. For that fee that we give you, you have to provide at a minimum what Medicare provides. At a minimum. And here's another caveat to that. You cannot discriminate. It has to be a guaranteed issue policy. So insurance companies are thinking about it, and for a healthy 65-year-old individual who's aging into Medicare, Medicare is giving a health insurance company around $600 a month. They are subsidizing that policy. Why are they doing that? Because they are capping their risk. They're knowing that they're going to spend $7,200 out of pocket for that individual no matter what. No matter what. They also know that they're getting back $99.90 in Part B premium. They also know that. But they're capping their risk. Now insurance companies think about it and say, wow, that's a lot of money coming in. But remember, it's guaranteed issue. They also have to take the 89-year-old who has many conditions who may cost hundreds of thousand dollars. And that, who knows how it works out? But it is profitable for insurance companies because there are many different types of Medicare Advantage plans with many different benefits. And Medicare Advantage plans start off at zero premium. And people look at me like, what do you mean zero premium? How can a plan for health insurance cost zero dollars? The reason is Medicare is subsidizing, giving the insurance company up starting at $600 a month for a healthy individual per month. So just think about that. That's how insurance companies are able to afford to give a plan for zero cost. Now, how does a Medicare Advantage plan work? Medicare Advantage is, is sort of like a copay plan, what people in the under 65 market know. The difference is that every copay that an individual pays on Medicare Advantage goes to satisfying the max out of pocket cost for the year. So co-pays for individuals going to a primary care physician, depending on the company, could be zero dollars. They could be ten dollars. Could be twenty-five dollars going to a primary care physician. Could be ten dollars, thirty-five dollars, fifty dollars. Outpatient surgeries. A lot of surgeries are done on an outpatient basis. Some of these policies have a strict copay. No matter what the outpatient surgery is, it's two hundred and fifty dollar copay. You know, maybe three hundred. Maybe five hundred could be 20%. That's where I come in. That's where I have to learn what all the different products are and how they work and what's the most benefit 
for my client because one size doesn't fit all. And that's why I do a needs analysis every year because these plans change year to year. You know, there's also hospital benefit. Days one through five could be $200 a day. Or it could be days one through seven for $250 a day. Or it could be days one through eight for $300 a day. There could be an in-network benefit, an out-of-network benefit. There could be an HMO policy where it's strictly in-network and that's all you have. It could be an HMO, health maintenance organization, or a POS, point of service. So you have the options of choice, but if you stay in an HMO, it'll be cheaper. If you go to the POS, it'll be more expensive. Or you can have a PPO network, which allows you to go to any doctor you want to see. But if you stay in network, you can still get a little bit better discount. Or how about a PFFS, private fee for service? That's another plan that's available. A lot of these Medicare Advantage plans have many different value-added services. Some of them have gym memberships, some have come with dental, some come with vision services. Not required by Medicare, but remember that Medicare is subsidizing. They're paying a per member fee, no matter of who the person is or the age of the person. They also come with prescription drug plans. And prescription drug plans are different than we understand in the under 65 market. Prescription drug plans, Medicare Part D, is, is an elective plan. You don't have to choose it. At least that's what the government says. But guess what? If you don't choose it and later on decide to choose it, the government will penalize you for not getting it when you first could have gotten it. That's just the rules. I am the messenger. I don't make the rules up. So I'm going to show you how the prescription drug benefit works. And this is for this past year in 2012. This is the government's design. This is not a health insurance company's design. I want to let you know this is the government's design, what Medicare says that you have to follow. They say that you can start with a $320 deductible. Most insurance companies will start with a zero deductible, but some of the cheaper plans may start with a $320, they can start with a $60 deductible, whatever it is. So someone gets on the plan, and these plans start January 1st for people who have been in Medicare. All right? At the beginning of that year, people start paying their co -pays. Now the true cost of a drug is roughly broken up into 25% for the beneficiary and a cost share of around 75% for the insurance company. You know, someone will go and get their drugs and it's a $25 copay. The true cost may be $100. 25%, 75%. So individuals are paying copays. And as they're co paying copays, when the combined effort of the copay, and the insurance company's cost share reaches $2,930, people fall what's into the coverage gap or donut hole. Maybe people, maybe some of you have heard of the donut hole. Well, that's the donut hole. When someone reaches the $2,930 coverage gap, they start to pay 100% for their drugs. Though this year, it's been changed where a beneficiary will get a 50% discount for brand name drugs provided by the drug, by the brand name drug manufacturer, a 14% discount for generic drugs provided by the insurance company. So if, so, okay. so if someone is paying here, you know, to, uh, uh, $25 for a drug, that true cost is $100. When they get into this coverage gap, they'll be paying 50 for that brand name until someone reaches $4,700 out of pocket. Then they're in what's called catastrophic coverage. And when they're in catastrophic coverage, they pay $2.60 for generic drugs, or $6.20 for brand name drugs, or 5%, whichever is greater. But this is how it really works. Because I will get a call in June or July from individuals that I went to the pharmacy, and I only paid $800 this year. And now they said I owe, instead of my $100 a month, I've got to pay $600.